out of sight. Now it's all in my pockets. Ay, ay. This is the voice of Future Dignal, and I'm watching this video back, and holy fuck, my hair looks like shit. Please don't. I I I don't I I don't even fucking know. Hey, what's going on, guys? Dignal here. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the effect that you have just seen on screen. Now, before we get into the video, I'd like to tell you guys that I just released my editing pack with Xavier. The link is in the description. Uh, and I promise you, uh, it's worth it. Uh, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So, uh, you've just seen the effect, you know what we're doing today. Uh, so I'm just going ahead and adjust my webcam here, uh, just like that, and we should be good to go. Uh, now, essentially, what we want to do, first of all, is just add our velocity to our clip and render it out. I'm just going to go ahead and play this back, I'm going to mute the audio first of all, so you can just sort of see what's happening. Uh, so it's just a normal clip, but I have already added my velocity. Now, this is important because otherwise the velocity can get very, very screwed up. So just make sure you add it, and then what you do, you just select the area you want to render, and then just render it out, and then you import it once again. Uh, now, once you've done that, uh, just go ahead and mark out the beat. So if you just go ahead and do this, and I'm going to go ahead and actually lower the desktop audio by a whole lot, so you guys don't get fucked. Uh, so just go ahead and... Yeah, as you can see, we have our three beats here. You sort of want two beats like this before the third beat, or at least one good one. Uh, it really depends on how many of these little shifts you want to do. Uh, but it is important that you have at least, you know, one, two, or maybe even three good beats uh, before. All right, now once you have marked out the beats, you're going to want to go ahead and add a new video track. So just right click or hold Control Shift Q. Uh, just press U on this, hold Control, drag it up, and regroup them by highlighting both the bottom ones and pressing G. Uh, now just go and delete everything that's not in between your marked lines. So the last frame should be right before the impact and the first frame should be on the first in, uh, beat. Uh, so now just go ahead and right click on this or left click on it and press on a track motion. Then go up here and click on 3D source alpha. Now just go ahead and make a marker on the first sort of beat here. Go three frames forward. So one, two, three. And now is when you want to actually adjust your... Uh, your thing so just go ahead and make it significantly smaller and just go ahead and zoom in and you just sort of an adjust everything here so uh this is a bit hard sometimes i don't know why uh but it uh, for fuck, bro it's actually really annoying sometimes uh j just go ahead and adjust it the way you want it to be just like that and then go to your second marker just go ahead and add uh, a beat and then just go through or add a marker keyframe whatever the fuck then go through frames forward again so one two three and now is when you readjust it so you go over here and you just completely turn it around just like that and you just change everything you want to be changed about it uh now just go to three frames before the last frame so one two three go and add a keyframe and then go to the last one right click and press a restore box uh now once we've done this we can just go and play we can oh fuck we can go play it back just like that. Now we can go ahead and delete the bottom part here. I'm just going to go ahead and ungroup it. Just delete the bottom part right here. And we should be good now. Just like that. And uh, essentially, now what you want to do is make a new video track. So press the video track. Just, uh, just drag this below this one. And go ahead and go to the download link that I have in the description. Now, this is going to be sort of a paper background here. Uh, so just go ahead and delete the audio track, and now you want to hold Control at the end and just drag it in. Now this is going to compress it, and it's going to make it a whole lot faster. Uh, it's also going to sort of increase the frame rate of the actual background. So now if we just go and play it back, just like that. Now I have tried, tried time and time again to add a drop shadow to this talk part, because I know it looks so, so much better, but I just don't fucking know how to do it. Because if you apply it to the track, it doesn't work, and if you apply it to the actual thing, it doesn't work either. So I'm, I, I don't really know what to do, honestly. Uh, if anyone in the, in the comment section has a solution, it'll be pinned. Uh, it's just going to go down there right now and see if there's a pinned comment that'll help you. Uh, but otherwise, there's just nothing you can do about it. Uh, anyway, now that we have this, what you need to do is render this small segment out again. So uh, just go and highlight everything and render it out. All right, now I should already have a rendered version of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that in. I'm going to go ahead and drag it underneath. It should be like that. Uh, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And it should just sort of automatically get in there. So I'm going to go ahead and drag these above. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete these bottom two because we don't really need them anymore. I'm also going to delete the audio. And I'm going to do that. Now we should have this just like that. 
And now essentially what we want to do is just split it in the middle and we're going to add our impact. So this is just a regular RGB impact that you want, except, you know, without the RGB. So just use the current kill impact that you have right now and just drag it on there. I have this filter package window, but just, you can just go ahead and do the other thing that is weird. Yeah, it bugs out sometimes. I don't fucking know why. And then just go ahead and drag it in to all three of them. Uh, and now once you're done with that, uh, we can just go ahead and pre-render and we'll see how it looks. Just like that, there we have it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like them below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days and peace.